It's a Halloween double bill. As a look at the final two villains in the Midnight Masquerade villain series. This week I've been counting down the days to Halloween by looking at the Disney designer Midnight Masquerade villain series and it's now Halloween and I've still got two villains left to look at so why not do a double bill. So today we're looking at villain number two in my ranking of this series and it is Hades. You know I haven't been this choked up since I got a hunk of moussaka caught in my throat. Here's Hades from the Disney Designer Midnight Masquerade series. Um, okay, as you can see from the box straight away, it is blues, which, of course, that is Hades' main colour. Um, and the light is just shining off because it is kind of like me a metallic kind of like paint finish. So, of course, the light just shines off. Um, Midnight Masquerade mask, if I'll just show you up front, it is Pain and Panic though on his mask, which I think is great attention to detail. Um, limited edition, one of 4,300, the lowest one within the collection. Oh yeah, um, just ignore the um, nails. Um, Halloween party, can't get the nail varnish off as of yet. Uh, right, so... Let's turn it around and look, of course, there is the iconic artwork. I'm trying to show you up without the reflection. And of course, the Hades name logo on the back with the metallic finish so the light just bounces off. Let's open them up. And of course, we have got the Greek. There we go, let's put it that way so there's no reflection. We have got like Greek columns on either side, a nice plain rectangular um, window for him. And of course we've got flames on the side. No, we've actually got a mixture of flames and I would say clouds, no? I'm gonna say that's flames. Flame designs at the bottom, just lean up. Um, yeah, again, these boxes, this is how you do, this is how the Disney designer dolls should be um, put at the minute. I think Disney are just cost cutting with the um, limited edition dolls. They're putting the price up, but the standard is getting lower. Let's get that ring light out of the way. So let's open them up. Uh, well, let's take the window off and show you close up, shall we? What? <laughs> Fine, fine, I'm cool, I'm fine. Right, here is Hades, and as you can see, again, the metallic background, again, just bouncing the light, and it's just making these dolls look 10 times better. So let's look at Hades. Now, I do love the fact that she gave him blue flames around his head here, just like on top of his head, which is iconic Hades. Um, looking at his accessories first, he is full of like skull features. So we've got a giant skull on his shoulder here. Then we move down to his belt. He's actually got another skull, just like he does on his actual outfit in the classic movie. His Midnight Masquerade mask are actually pain and panic. So he's actually got two to choose from. And I just love the fact that they've actually gave these, um, his minions, the actual mid, um, Midnight Masquerade masks. So let's actually go to his outfit. We have got this giant leather collar with a silver embroidery around him, which attaches to this giant blue fabric cape. And on the back, you would think it's actually flames, but I'm actually going to say they're souls, really, because if you actually look at one angle, especially down here, you just immediately think that's a hand or an arm with a head, and especially down here. So I'm going to say that is actually souls. Um, that's actually embroidered actually in to his um, cape. And then, well, you could say it's flame. You could say it's big sure both, really. 
are we going to go for flames or are we going to go for souls? Because that looks like a person. That looks like a spirit. The head, shoulders. Could be a mixture of both. And I, or I could just be talking absolute nonsense here. Um, right, so back to his collar. And we've got this great long silver black chain that attaches to the collar. We've actually, and they've actually gave him like the Greek outfit like the ancient greek outfits but they've actually jazzed it up so he's actually showing a bit of body which i do actually like and very muscled though and they've actually gave him as well two um waistline belts we've got this plastic one here which just just looks like i'm gonna say like they're swords i'm gonna go for or well like that, that could be like a mid. Ignore the nail varnish again. Another like midnight masquerade mask though, or another skull feature with. I'm not too sure what they are. Or just look well. They are good anyway. And then underneath that, we've got the warrior belt. Um, again, made of leather with silver embroidery and chain links attaching to each one. Then we move down to his gown, which is attached to this giant black ruffle effect, which is, again, just like they do with all Disney designer dolls and limited edition dolls, they actually put them in place so you can't really move it because that's how they actually want to show it off. And that's how I'm going to leave it in the box. Um, so we can't really see his footwear. But, again, a magnificent doll. I was really moved. Now, one thing I've not, one thing I've not shown off is the certificates because the certificates are actually underneath, kept underneath the actual doll itself. And again, just like the artwork on the box, it's metallic finish, so the light actually bounces off. And um, this one is three thousand seven hundred and twenty-one of four thousand three hundred. And you didn't tell me. Now, another thing that I've not shown you about this series is you can actually take the outer box off let's take it off and you can actually display the doll with the window still attached so why couldn't they have done that with the new designer dolls that they're, re they're releasing excuse me fine i'm cool i'm fine <laughs> it is about time that hades actually got a limited edition doll um treatment he's not got the 17 inch doll treatment as of yet um, because we were celebrating the 25th anniversary this year and we only got a Meg doll. Then recently in D23, we only got Hercules and Meg. Um, we still haven't got a Hades 17-inch doll. Uh, so this is basically the first design, well, the first limited edition doll we've got of him and it's not a letdown. It really isn't. I just don't know why Disney don't do more stuff with the villains because they are popular. This sold out within seconds. We've only got one more doll to look at. And if you know this series, you know for a fact which doll it is. And if you don't, let's see if you can guess in the comments below. And um, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video, which will be up shortly. Because it's a double bill today.